Hello again. Um, great little project we've got today. We are upgrading the kids' quad bike. You can see the difference. That's what it was. Hello again. Um, great little project we've got today. We are upgrading the kids' quad bike. Uh, the problem with this one is uh, the kids are getting bigger, and same as the other, the other ride-on toy that we upgraded. Um, it just needs a bit more power, a bit more oomph to get the kids around the garden. So we have stripped out the old electronics inside. Uh, originally, this was a six-volt um, quad bike, and we did upgrade it to a 12-volt system. Uh, with two 12 volt motors um, but even with that it, it's not good enough so this time around we have a, a 24 volt speed controller from uh, an e-bike uh, we've got a so we got in here we've got a 22 volt 6s lithium polymer battery that's protected by, what have we got in here? 20 amp fuse at the moment. Um, that's connecting to the original two 12 volt, 30,000 RPM, um, 550 motors. Uh, what else have we got in here? I've had to install. Now the problem is I've done all the maths and this goes over 20 mile an hour um, with everything uh, plugged in. Uh, theoretically, I think with the 40,000 RPM, it can do up to 28. To miles per hour which is way too fast for the kids um, so I've installed a potentiometer in here just to limit the signal that goes to uh, throttle so it keeps the voltage going to the wheels down to 12 volts so um, we've still got great torque uh, without that crazy top speed um, also I'll spin it around I've installed a, an accelerator here, so that's a variable accelerator using a, essentially a potentiometer inside. So they can push it a little bit, go a little bit, push it all the way down, and off it goes. There we go. So wiring's pretty simple. There's a plug here for, you see that power locks it says, but that means key, so that's like the on off switch. Um, I've just short circuited that. All the rest of these, let me see, there we go. Are for things like brake lights, brake charging, and what's that one? Indicator, I assume that's just an indicator light to say that uh, the whole system's on. Okay, so this is how I've got it at the moment. It's just it's kicking out about 12 volts. Um, but if we alter the potentiometer and we crank it up full, let's give it a go. You can see the difference. That's what it was. Yeah. It's a bit too crazy. So this is this B10K uh, linear potentiometer. It's very fine. You just have to twiddle with it a bit. Just find that right balance just to limit the voltage down. There we go. So nice and safe. And then to stop that from getting disturbed whilst it's bumping around on the grass. Uh, I've just encased in one of these. Now, I did think about just limiting it with resistors to have a fixed speed, but I think as the kids get used to it, they might want a little bit more speed. So having it variable um, will make life easier just to change it as they get more comfortable handling the speed. Well, that's it.
I just wish I could have a go myself. Maybe that's the next project. Daddy-sized ride on toys. That sounds dodgy. It's taken me a few days just to get the parts together, put it all together. And um, the kids are just, just getting used to it now. They're always a little scared when, when daddy's been playing with the toys. They're always scared he goes too fast. But um, the first test went well. And uh, if you want to do it yourself, uh, I'll leave the description of all the parts that I've used in the description uh, of this video. Um, there's, there's plenty more we could do. We could add in brakes, like a, a relay to do braking. And I, I've still got to wire in the on off button into there, but that's a simple job. Um, but yeah, nice, quick, easy project on a nice sunny week here in the UK. Um, see you on the next one.